I want to talk a little bit about money. I actually have a degree from the University of Illinois in finance and we studied the financial system. So I do know some fundamental concepts about money. I've got a bachelor's degree. I was a business consultant for eight years. And of course I operate in this society with money. Just like everybody else. <clears throat> But my dad just died in uh, February of this year, and it got me thinking about a few things because he really spent his life committed always to work and the attainment of money and wealth, you know, advancement, moving on up. I guess what I'm saying is money is an abstract concept. We use it to exchange value, right? It's just an abstract. I mean, it's, a, it's something we need in, in our societies to be able to efficiently do business. and have value and hold value and transfer value. But imagine, like, am I the only one that thinks this? Imagine you spend your whole life trying to attain this thing that you think is gonna make you happy and it doesn't. And you realize your entire life You've been duped into chasing something that you should have never really wanted. I'm not trying to go all Buddhist on you. Uh, you know, it, but it's true. There is joy in every day, in the moment, all around you. You think that money is going to bring you joy, and it doesn't. I made a six figure salary once. I had a little taste of that life and I'm telling you like the more I got the more unhappy I got I swear that's true to the point that I completely abandoned the corporate world and basically spent the next six years burning down the house Everything I had built, I mean, everything, you know, that I had saved and everything I had worked for and everything, you know, in high school, you're busting your ass because you want to get into a good college and in college, you're busting your ass because you want to get in with a good firm and then you get in with a good firm and you bust your ass for another eight or ten years, you know, and you finally get to that desk and you go, you got to be fucking kidding me. This is it. This is it. Like, this can't be what I've spent my life chasing, right? And you get the car and it's all badass for a year or whatever. You get all those things. But what you don't realize is the whole time, each one of those things is starting to possess a little piece of you. and a little piece of your day, and a little piece of your mind, and a little piece of your money, which you must love because you chase it every day, you know? And then you kind of look around and go, I can't believe I've spent, I mean, I did. I said, I can't believe I've spent my whole life chasing an ab abstract concept that I think is gonna make me happy. But that's what we do here in America. That's what we're taught here in America. That's what our education system is about. 
and that's what the media is going to keep you focused on. Productivity, money, look at the life you could have if you just worked a little harder, if you just took away some more of those business restrictions and we could really get things going for you. And then everybody will have more money. <laughs> We spend our lives chasing an abstract concept, is my point. I can't believe it. Like, the death of my dad has really awakened me to that idea. He was so committed. <laughs> he so thought it was going to bring that happiness, and it so didn't. And the lesson didn't go unnoticed. You know? One of the things that drove my dad down in the last couple of years has been my brother coming back from war with PTSD and the uh, things that result from that. You know, that's a terrible thing. I don't even want to get into that. You know, one weekend a month and two weeks in the summer, we'll help you pay for college. Fast forward, you're in Afghanistan. Eight deployments to Afghanistan. Lost a marriage over it, you know. He, he did things he didn't know he was doing found out afterwards. Shit is ugly, man. We do that. We do that to our soldiers. We do that to our people. People need to understand that. They come back broken and the VA doesn't do shit. And that hurts families. That hurts American families. Real people. My brother's in the ER. or He, get, he was in the ER last night and now he's being checked in for PTSD related alcoholism. You know what I mean? And people don't understand what that's like for him. What that's like for him, you know? Don't think he's a bad guy. To just be in a constant state of fight or flight, to be in a constant state of anxiety, to not be able to shut it off, to not be able to sleep, to not be able to eat properly, to not be able to function. It's not just coming back sad or having the fog of war. It's a real, real disorder. It's a real disease. It's not, a, there's n nothing these guys did to deserve it, you know? So I guess we gotta understand that's the cost of war. Measured in money. I don't know, man. That's just what I'm thinking about tonight. My whole neighborhood's chasing money. My whole town. City council's chasing money. Trying to get corporations to open factories and stores and outlets and restaurants here so that we can attract more people and make more money. And I see people walking around in their lives like they're not even awake, like they're not even aware of what they could do today if they weren't saddled in all these ideas about what they're supposed to do. They seem like zombies in a way, unawakened.